Hi, only thanks for watching. I've uploaded this video to discuss demand and supply, one of the basic principles of economics. It's a concept that's central to pretty much everything you do in economics, so grasping it is important. First of all, I'm going to start off by talking about the demand curve. Here's what the demand curve looks like. You'll notice that it slopes downwards because of the negative relationship between price and quantity demanded. The higher the price of something, the less people are going to want of it. On the other hand, if the price of something is low, people will want more of it. Now, I'll talk about the supply curve. This time, the supply curve slopes upwards because the relationship between price and quantity is positive. When the price of a particular good is low, firms supply less of it, and when the price of it is high, firms supply more of it, which makes sense because they are making a higher economic profit from doing so. It's important to understand that price is the only single factor that causes a movement in demand supply curves. Now I'm going to take you through the factors that cause shifts in demand and supply curves. First, I will talk about shifts in supply curves. As you can see, demand remains constant here. The shift in the supply curve from S1 to S2 indicates that supply increases, but because of a non-price determinant of demand. Take for example the cost of factors of production. If the price of the factors of production for a particular good fall, then firms have an incentive to supply more of it as profits are rising, thus shifting the supply curve from S1 to S2. However, if the cost of factors of production increase, profits fall, and the supply curve shifts back from S2 to S1. Other factors that can cause shifts in the supply curve include, say, future expectations of the price of the goods, government regulations, other supplies in the industry, etc. You'll notice that the demand and supply curves intersect. These points are referred to as equilibrium, where supply is equal to demand. On this supply curve, you'll see that equilibrium price decreases and equilibrium quantity increases from S1 to S2. In contrast, equilibrium price increases and equilibrium quantity decreases from S2 to S1. Now I will move on to shifts in the demand curve. Conversely, supply remains the constant factor here. Again, it is the non-price determinants of demand that causes shift in the demand curve. Prices of related goods would be an example. If, say, the price of petrol increases, demand for cars will fall, and people may switch to using more public transport instead. Thus, the demand curve for cars shifts from D2 to D1. In contrast, if the price of petrol falls, demand for cars go up, and the demand curve shifts from D1 to D2. Equilibrium price increases and equilibrium quantity increases from D1 to D2. In contrast, equilibrium price and quantity decrease from D2 to D1.